Hey, welcome back everybody. Uh, I'm pretty excited to show you guys something today. I bet you did not know that you could raise worms inside of a turtle. Stop and think about that for a second. Yeah, so let me give you a little scoop. I kind of keep a tarp on top of this because of the possums or and or raccoons that get in here and just ravage through the uh, worms and the uh, materials and whatnot but so uh long story short i bought this house the uh this in the back corner there's a retaining wall here as you see there between the house and the uh sidewalk and there probably was about two feet full of leaves and just just composted humus and everything like that where these guys before just didn't go outside very much apparently they're older couples so i'm back here cleaning the uh the leaves and the debris up and i hit something solid and i'm like what is going on it turns out it's this old sandbox that uh, is a turtle and inside of it where all those leaves have been breaking down for years and years and years apparently was just the most absolute beautiful black compost you can imagine. So that gave me an idea. I'm like, well, I'm just going to turn this into a, a worm bin. So what I have done is I've added food scraps. I've added leaves. I've added grass clippings, everything for years and years and years and built this up. Now here we'll show you what I got inside this before you guys is the best fertilizer sorry it's too loud this is the best fertilizer you could ever put on your garden and it is absolutely easy to make um, all I do is just add food scraps like I mentioned some manure some leaves some wood chips um, whatever and I just leave the lid on I don't do nothing the worms just take care of themselves I probably added 50 to 100 worms when I first started this off just as I'd find them in the garden or uh, in the existing compost piles I just kind of would add them in and over time they have multiplied and multiplied and multiplied and let me show you something here zoom in on this this is the absolute just blackest most amazing stuff ever right there full of organic matter full of materials uh, baby worm right there where did he go I don't know it's right there see I mean just look through this if I pull this up get this focused eventually look at that see how many worms are inside of this yeah all those little worms right there just breaking stuff down this is the most awesome compost you can add all you have to do guys is just take out a couple scoops and I'll show you right now here's what I do give you away all my secrets because I can't give them all the way but I'll give you this one because this is important all those food scraps you know broken down materials worms and all it doesn't matter I don't get too picky there's thousands of worms in here this right here is a pepper plant. All you got to do, guys, take one handful. Put it around the base of your plant, just like that. All right, it's that simple. Okay, watch, do it again. You grab a handful of uh, worm compost. You bring it over here to a pepper. Hi, pepper. Here's some worm compost. You put it around the bottom. All you need, one handful. Do it per plant. Okay, there's so much fertility in that. You add the worms, which are awesome for your garden. Um, don't bother picking them out because this the compost I have here has thousand worms in it so yeah just spread it around your plants do that early in the spring uh, and after I do that um, if you want to mulch put in, uh, some kind of like uh, leaf mold or some kind of uh, compost or something like that on top of this to kind of hold it in the only thing I will say is that birds and uh, other uh, worm craving animals such as the possum and or raccoon that it just give me fits around here um, yeah they might come after them so what I like to do is I add the worm compost on top like this then I get some old straws some old hay bale whatnot and I'll just put that on top just as a cover seals the worms and everything in on the goodness there and there you go that is the best fertilizer you can ever put on your plants and just uh, just look at this right here this is about two or three years worth of all these pepper plants going down the line down there but yeah I mean I had no chemicals to this no uh, synthetic fertilizer this is all organic and my biggest thing is worm compost make it yourself guys it's not that difficult I'm using an old turtle you can use an old cooler you can use whatever you need to use guys but seriously I mean just check this out there are just thousands and thousands and thousands of worms in here just doing their business all I do I'll scoop it across the side like this I add some uh, food scraps some old potatoes and old zucchinis squash whatever animals just these guys they just take care of it uh we'll say yeah but like i have a like i said the raccoon and possum problem 
I keep a center block on top of my lid for the uh, the worm compost because they have gotten inside before for like uh, old corn cobs and uh, potatoes and stuff like that. They'll, they'll drag them out. They love bananas apparently because they'll, they'll, they'll pry the lid off of this thing, steal a mess of bananas. You know, I find banana peels over the sidewalk with all the bananas gone. But what are you going to do? That's nature. That's what they're supposed to do. That's their job. So you can't really, you can't get too mad. All you can do is try to prevent the damage. But, um, yeah, guys, there's a uh, pro tip for you. Make your own worm compost. It's not that difficult. Look at this. You can't buy this kind of stuff in the store. Look at all those worms, all that nice goodness in there. Yeah. Um, yeah, so this is the Hillside Gardener uh, signing off for today. Uh, make a worm compost. Your plants are going to love it. It's not that difficult. And it's actually kind of cool watching uh, watching the worms do their thing and just multiply and multiply and multiply. If I were to dig in here and turn this all over on the bottom, uh, towards the bottom of the compost, it would be almost a complete layer of just worms going to town. And it is just crazy how many there are. Uh, yeah, all right, guys, so I'm going to sign off of here. If you have any questions, please uh, leave them in the uh, comments. I hope you guys have a great day. Happy gardening. Uh, Hillside Garden. We'll see you next time. Please subscribe and uh, maybe we'll uh, see you next time on something else. If you guys have an idea or have a question about an upcoming episode or something you want to see or ask, I mean, let me know, man. I'm willing to show uh, whatever I have. I can help you guys out. That's what we're all here for to learn from one another. So uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.